Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to focus on how to find the present value at compounding more than once a year. So to find the present value compounding more than once a year, we are going to use the formula P equals F over 1 plus I raised to M over M raised to M T, where F is the future value or the maturity value P is the principal or the present value. And then instead of using R, we are going to use I raised to M. That is the nominal rate of interest or the what we call annual rate. Then M, that is the frequency of conversion or the number of periods. And T, that is the term or time in years. So this is the formula that we're going to use to find the present value compounding more than once a year. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first example, find the present value of 50,000 due in four years if the money is invested at 12% compounded semi-annually. So to find the present value, we are going to use the formula P equals F over the quantity of 1 plus I raised to M over M raised to m t where f that is the future value which is 50000 and then nominal rate that is 12% or simply 0 0.12 then we are going to have time that is 4 years and then frequency of conversion that is m so since we have semi annually that is Two. So we are looking for the present value or the principal, but let us add the interest. Now, to find the principal, let us substitute this given to the given formula. We have future value, which is 50,000 over 1 plus nominal rate, that is 12% or 0 0.12 over M, that is 2, raised to 2 times 4. Then, to simplify, we have 50,000 over 1 plus 0 0.12 divided by 2, that is 0 0.06. Raised to 2 times 4, that is 8. Then, we have 50,000 over 1 plus 0 0.06, that is 1.06. 0, 6 raised to 8. Then, let us write 50,000 over, let us raise 1.06 by 8. So, 1.06 raised by 8, that is 1 1.5938480745. Then let us divide 50,000 by this number. If you are going to divide 50,000 by this number, we are going to have 31,370.61856767698. So this will be our principal, or we can write our answer as 31,370.62. So this will be the present value. Now, to find the interest, let us have future value minus principal. Our future value will be 50,000 minus the principal, that is 31,370.62. Then, 50,000 minus 31,370.62, that is 18,629.38. So this will be our interest. On example number two, what is the present value of 25,000 due in two years and six months if the money is worth 10% compounded quarterly? So to find the present value, let us determine first the given. So since we have 25,000, 25,000 will be the future value. 
So let us have 25,000. And then nominal rate that is 10% or 0 0.10. And then frequency of conversion that is quarterly. So since we have four quarters in a year, so M will be four. And then time that is two years and six months. That is six over 12 years. So since we have 2 and 6 over 12, same as 2.5 years. So we are looking for the principal and let us have also the interest. So to find the principal, we are going to use P equals future value over 1 plus nominal rate over M raised to M. Our future value will be 25,000 over 1 plus nominal rate that is 0 0.10. Then M that is 4 raised to 4 times 2.5. Then let us write 25,000 over 1 plus 0 0.10 divided by 4. That is 0 0.025 raised to 4 times 2.5, that is 10. Then, let us have 25,000 divided by 1 plus 0 0.025 raised to 10, that is 1.025 raised to 10. Then, let us have 25,000 over, let us raise one point. 0 0.025 by 10, that is 1.28008454422. Then, let us divide 25,000 by this number. If you are going to divide 25,000 by this number, we are going to have 19,529.97. Zero eight seven, or we can write our answer as nineteen thousand five hundred twenty nine point ninety six. So this will be the present value. Then to find the interest, let us have future value minus the principal. Our future value will be twenty five thousand minus the principal that is nineteen thousand five hundred twenty nine point. 96. So the interest is 25,000 minus 19,529.96. That is 5,470.04. So this will be our answer. On my last example, how much should you invest in a funds earning 9% compounded monthly? If you want to accumulate 200,000 pesos in 3 years and 3 months. So as you can see, we have 200,000. 200,000 will be our future value. Then, nominal rate. That is 9%. Or 0 0.09. Then, Frequency of conversion, so we have monthly, that is 12. Then time, that is 3 years and 3 months. That is 3 and 3 over 12. Or we can write as 3.25. That is 3 divided by 12, that is 0.25 years. So in this problem, we are looking for the present value. And let us have also the interest. So to find the present value, we are going to use principal equals future value over 1 plus nominal rate over M raised to M T. So we have future value which is 200,000. Then 1 plus nominal rate that is 0 0.09 over the, num the number of frequency that is 12 raised to 12. 
times 3.25. Then, to simplify, we have 200,000 over 1 plus 0 0.09 divided by 12, that is 0 0.0075. Then, 12 times 3.25, that is 39. Then, we have 200,000 over, that is 1.0075 raised to 39. Then, we have 200,000 over 1.0075 raised to 39. That is 1.338311127788. Then, let's divide 200,000 by this number. If you divide 200,000 by this number, we are going to have 149,000. 442.06427728 or we can write our answer as 149,442.06 so this will be our principal then to find the interest we are going to have future value minus principal our future value is 200 Thousand minus principal that is one hundred forty nine thousand four hundred forty two point zero six. Then to subtract the interest that is two hundred thousand minus one hundred forty nine thousand four hundred forty two point zero six. That is fifty thousand five hundred fifty seven point ninety four. So this will be our final answer. So I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.